there, thank you so much for joining me on another edition of Blooms for You. As is custom, haha, -ha, still got the Dendrobium hibiki here in bloom. That is one of the things that I do enjoy so much because I like to have a lot of clusters that I can dedicate to anyone and everyone that watches this video but is not mentioned in a bloom dedication directly. So consider yourself included. My Dendrobium hibiki blooms for you. Thank you very, very much for your support on my channel. And if you're new here, thank you for being here. What I do is every time an orchid blooms in my collection, I have a whole list that I have to go through with all the names of people that have commented and the ones that I can identify that have subscribed. And eventually there will be a bloom for you. If you're new here and have never commented before, leave me a comment. I can put your name on the list and eventually a bloom will be dedicated to you. Seeing as this is the orchid hobby, it is not a sprint hobby, it is a marathon hobby. <laughs> Takes time for the blooms to come, but I guarantee you that there will be a bloom for you if you've never commented or haven't subscribed yet. And let me know that you have subscribed because sometimes people that subscribe, I can't see that they have. It doesn't show if you have a private account. So just let me know and I don't want to miss anybody. Right. Dendrobium hibiki, clearly gorgeous, in bloom, doing fabulously still, but there's more to this table and I just want to introduce to you Cousin It here on the left and my Encyclia Garciana on the right. Right now they're the three musketeers. Eventually there may actually be another orchid coming into bloom and then we will have D'Artagnan as well. But Cousin It is my Maxillaria variabilis. Today got a major, major cleanup around the base. All the maiden hair fern was removed because as we're getting into the colder, wetter months of the year, he doesn't need all that going on around there. So he had a bit of a shave, doesn't have the ZZ top look effect to him at the moment. But let me get you in closer to my Encyclia Garciana Alba as well because I could dedicate these blooms to individual people that I have on my list. However, because she is so vigorous and floriferous, it is hard to keep track of her. And that is why I'm going to show her to you comme ça, so that you can see how gorgeous this bowl of beautiful, fragrant Encyclia Garciana is. This is the Alba variety, but all these blooms are for everybody just like the Hibiki is. And there's even more back there. I like to look at this bowl and consider it like going to harvest strawberries because the more you dig, the more you will find. There's more tucked in back here and over there. You see, very, very difficult to keep track of which blooms have been dedicated on this orchid. And I surely, surely don't want to double up. Imagine doing that mistake doubling up, you've dedicated a bloom, and then the next episode you dedicate it again. That is not the nature of this series. But long-winded intro, I appreciate that you're here. Let's go and look, see what else has been going on on the patio and whose name has come up on my list this time around. This is crazy, but it is crazy good. I'm gonna tell you that I'm filming this clip in the middle of October, because I don't know when it's going to come out, but I really do want to take advantage of my <laughs> two further blooms of Phalaenopsis cornucervi variety Chatelaidae, because I want to dedicate them to Mike's aquatics and things, and Paddy's petite tanks. But as I said, I don't know when this clip is coming out. I am not going to wait. I'm just gonna film them dedicate them to you, take advantage that this concept allows me to do it this way, to say thank you to both of you, Mike's Aquatics and Things and Paddy's Petite Tanks, via my smiley faces here of the Cornucervi Variety Chatella Day. There they are. Smile for the camera, as they always do. No fragrance, no fragrance, but you know what? <laughs> I hope nobody's getting sick of this orchid. Me, I'm not but I've got another bud coming around the back here. <laughs> if it doesn't blast, because obviously it's really not the time of year for this orchid to bloom. And I have another one coming here. The first one to bloom on the branching spike of the new spike of 2021. Insanity. I really can't say anything more, but this is insane. 
unexpected, but a pleasure nonetheless. And then I have to be super careful with regards to some roots going on in the back. But other than that, oh, this orchid is just going nuts this year and I can't be more, more pleased. So for Mike's Aquatics and Things and Patty's Petite Tanks, these two blooms, they bloom for you to say thank you to both of you. I happen to know that you know each other and I thought it might be a nice fit for the two of you to share the same orchid and its blooms. So yeah, I hope that the two of you are doing well, having a great time with your fish and your tanks and everything is going well over there in your part of the YouTubes. Really, really appreciate your support here. Thank you so very, very much. Orchid Ninja, Granny Franny Sun. Yes, thank you so, so much for becoming an Orchid Ninja. And I don't know if you like Miltonia Sunset or Mill Miltonia Sunset, but I have chosen these two blooms to say thank you to you so, so much, Francis, for becoming an Orchid Ninja. It is official, you are now officially an Orchid Ninja. And for that reason, Granny Franny Sun. Thank you so much, I really appreciate that your confidence in me, and I hope that we can push your orchids to be the best that they've ever been throughout the next six months, and then boom, explosion of everything, happy growths, happy roots, happy blooms, happy Francis Sun. Miltonia Sunset, Mill Miltonia Sunset. For an orchid ninja like yourself, these colors just pop. There's nothing wrong with these blooms. Personally, I'll be quite honest with you, personally, I would prefer that they didn't fold back like a claw like that and that they would present themselves a little bit straighter. That would be my personal preference, but when it comes to seeing, let's say, the lower one here against the upper one there, I think this whole color combination looks really, really nice. And I hope that you agree with me, Orchid Ninja Francis Sun. I hope that these blooms do not disappoint and I hope that you will accept my thank you for becoming an Orchid Ninja. You have no idea how much I appreciate it and know that you've got backup no matter what happens, no matter what your questions are, no matter how many questions you need to email me, you have got backup now. Your faith and your trust in me with your orchid collection, it means a lot and I don't say that lightly. I know how I feel about my collection. So when you present me with some questions and you trust that what I say will actually answer your questions and then we can see results, woohoo, perfect. So really, really appreciate you, Frances Sun. I do the Japanese bow towards you. Welcome, Orchid Ninja. My Miltonia Sunset, Mill Miltonia Sunset, my beautiful two blooms of this orchid, <laughs> they bloom for you. Giovanna J.N. Baptiste. A couple of videos ago, well, let's say, a couple of weeks ago, <laughs> same thing. <laughs> you told me that you don't have a slipper orchid. Well, now you do. My Paphiopedalum spicerianum, this bloom is for you. Because as far as I'm concerned, it is the perfect bloom. If you don't have a slipper orchid that I can say thank you to you via this bloom of my Paphiopedalum spicerianum for your support here on my channel, I thought that would be perfect and I hope that you like the bloom. If you're thinking, mm, uh, well, not really to my taste, then I do apologize. I love this. I love this bloom because it has so many different things going on all over the place. There is a video where I go into more of the photography with regards to this orchid to show all the different facets. But let me start by saying, since I photographed her last, let's get this right. Since I photographed her last, the hood has furled in a little bit. You can see it's kinked where that Bordeaux line is. And now it's sort of got a, <laughs> a heart or some kind of a shape. It reminds me of the crown of the lemur of Madagascar. You know, King Louis? I like to move it, move it. <laughs> Giovanna, back to the point here. This hood has changed a little bit of the shape since I filmed it last and since I took its pictures. Isn't Okay, if you weren't convinced before, I'm going to show you. Isn't that beautiful? Look what this orchid does. It has now been open almost 10 days and it's changing shape. 
<laughs> and um, okay, humor me, check this out. Doesn't this look like a grin from here? Like somebody who's extremely pleased with himself. If you were to think of a cartoon character and then the eyes there as well. I, there's so much going on with this bloom, honestly. Look at it from the side. I, I can't describe it to, it to justify what's happening here. It's amazing. It doesn't have a fragrance, Giovanna, but my goodness, I hope that you see the fun in this bloom and also the intricate, let's say, architecture that it has, because which bloom comes with a roof or a hat or a crown? <laughs> yes, I'm very pleased with my Paphia Pedlum Spicerianum, and I am very pleased that it has bloomed for me, that I finally get to see it after all these years of making sure that my itty bitty weak little fan that I got in the mail would make it. And here she is in 2021, especially for you, Giovanna and JN Baptiste, to say thank you ever, ever so much for your support on my channel, for your comments. I really, really appreciate our dialogue. And I hope that you do not regret having told me that you don't have any slipper orchids because now you do. Papio Pedlum Spicerianum, this bloom is for you. Two blooms for Alex M. and Lauren O'Donnell. <laughs> Catlia Dinard, Blue Heaven. Two blooms in 2021. I cannot believe it that I'm seeing these blooms this late in the season. My goodness, you cannot imagine my joy that I can dedicate these blooms to Alex M. and Lauren O'Donnell to say thank you to the two of you her one bloom each for your support on my channel and for subscribing. Really, really appreciate it. I never thought I would see the day this year to see this orchid in bloom. Last year, I got one bloom. So we have increased by 100% with regards to blooms and ah, oh, I'm so thrilled. I hope I can do the filming of this bloom justice and show you exactly how gorgeous she is. The petals are oversized, XXL petals. And then, well, the lip. This lip takes three days to come out of the sheath. It starts with the lip itself. And you just see the frilly front bits. Three days later is when then the whole bloom starts to unfold. Gorgeous and absolutely true to color in the viewfinder. I'm so happy I don't have to do much explaining. But you know what I love about this bloom? <laughs> I like all my orchid blooms, but this one, the size of the petals, they're like little piggy ears. <laughs> and there she goes, ruining a gorgeous, elegant Cattleya bloom. <laughs> no, but look, they, they, they look like little, you know, babe piggy ears. Just amazing. I don't have a fragrance just yet. It could be the time of year. I remember last year she had a fragrance of roses, you know, that what we call the typical Cattleya fragrance, roses. It's not like something where you go, yes, and it's got a hint of this, that, and the other. No, this is just, at this point in time, absolutely no fragrance. But my goodness, I am not complaining. Not complaining at all. Look at the size of this. You know, you say, okay, never mind. The bloom doesn't come this year, at least the orchid has bulked up. And you sort of settle, you know, you settle with regards to, well, look, she's doing amazing, she's growing roots, and then, well, we'll wait for next year. Oh, but then when they do bloom, it feels so good. It is so amazing <laughs> to see this. I can't stop grinning. I just can't stop grinning. But anyway, this is not about how I feel about it. This is about Alex M and Lauren O'Donnell. This is about the two of you and my beautiful Cattleya Dinard Blue Heaven, one bloom each. Thank you both of you so very, very much for your support on my channel. <laughs> I'm speechless. I'm trying to focus here. Your, your support is so much appreciated and I hope that despite me a little fumbling for my words today, <laughs> that my point comes across. Thank you so very, very much. I really, really hope that you are doing well in your part of the world.
dun, 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 If I did that correctly, you should remember the movie Shark. I think that's what it was called, but <laughs> this is Dendrobium serratulavium. This is what I call in my collection Sharky because of the serrated lip, hence also serratulavium. I hope that is pretty clear in the viewfinder. It's a beautiful sunny day outside. I didn't want to film this one in the shade because it picks up all the different color combinations of orange with a little bit of bronze in the back, the lip being not only full of happy sap, which is insane, insane sticky. <laughs> but yeah, this is Dendrobium serratulabium, and I didn't think she was going to bloom. I was wrong. There are two clusters here at the end of the cane, and these two clusters are for Samila W888 and Love You Dear. Very pleased to be able to share these blooms with you to say thank you very much for your support on my channel. My Serratulabium has actually bloomed before, but the clusters were so buried down here in the back, I couldn't actually get a camera to them without making a lot of excuses and apologizing constantly. And then I saw more buds appearing and I thought, you know what, forget it. I enjoyed those little clusters down here on the old, old canes and I was waiting for these to open to share them with you. Isn't this amazing? If I would stop fiddling and keep them in the viewfinder, maybe I can raise the camera up a bit. Sorry if the breeze is catching on the mic. It's the only way I can face at the moment. <laughs> there we go. Look at that. I think these are absolutely gorgeous. They are not fragrant, but it's the first year that I've had these blooms where the happy sap has absolutely, look at that. Can you see that in there? How it's just cooling right by the pollenum? It's all wet in there. And not that I'm complaining, but wow. I'm hoping that the blooms will last a little bit longer because under these circumstances, it is possible that they will fade quite quickly with all that water in there. Water, happy sap. Beautiful. I love my little serratulavium. I am so glad to see it back in bloom. And it's the first time that I've seen the clusters come out so abundantly. I've got two, four, six, maybe seven blooms per cluster. And again, I'm fiddling and putting them out of the viewfinder. No, but honestly, Samila W888 and Love You Dear. These bloom clusters of my Dendrobium serratulavium, they bloom for you. Am I seeing another bud? No, you see, it's so deceptive you think it's buds but it's actually the classic shape of the back here of the dendrobium bloom more happy sap incredible she's doing really well just a little general update here let's go up these are the canes that grew this year and they are lush long gorgeous and i've also got branching on the canes as well this one's coming onto its own. I always say that I have to rethink what I'm going to do with my Dendrobium community mount, but <laughs> now is not the time. I look at it every day and I'm thinking, you guys are, yeah, you're doing so well. I may need to reconsider having to separate these plants out, but it's such a shame to have to go in, possibly set them back now that they're starting to really, really grow superbly and branch in the canes themselves. So there we have them. Samila W888, love you dear. Dendrobium serratulabium to clusters. Thank you both so much for your support on my channel. Very much appreciated. I hope that you are doing well in your part of the world, be it fall, be it spring. I don't know why Cousin It has his shades on today. It is a bit of an overcast day, but I think he feels more dressed when he has his shades on. Anywho, thank you for being here. Thank you so very, very much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the blooms in this episode today. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Have yourselves a great day and please stay safe and take care. Bye.